Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually play Bloodborne on PC at 60 FPS or 120 with max quality settings and smooth. I'm making this video because this took me a while and I did a lot of research videos, um, threads on Reddit everywhere, and I couldn't find anything. But I tweaked a lot of things and I found that looseless scaling is a software that you need to do this. And that even with the 60 FPS patch that is on Shad PS4, if you use it at 30 and scale it with looseless scaling, is actually better and consumes less power and performance on your GPU. My GPU is 3080 MSI Gaming Trio, um, overclocking it. Um, so it's almost like a, uh, sort of like a 40, 70, a little bit above that. And I'm going to be using max quality settings, but you can reduce those to half and to performance. It really doesn't even make a difference, to be honest. Um, and to make, to actually play this at 60 FPS smooth or 120, you need a 3000 series card uh, or, or above NVIDIA or equivalent. So the software that you need looseless scaling, that PS4, of course. And before I get into the actual settings, I'm going to show you the mods that you need for Bloodborne. This is not going to be a game, um, a, a video about installing the game. I'm going to leave a link in the description in how I installed the game. That's a different video. This is just about the settings. And this is the mods that you need from Nexus mods. The ones that I'm going to highlight. The rest of them, forget about them. So full cloth physics with blood, um, the SFX and the vertex explosion fix. If you have a um, Intel processor and you're having performance issues, you have to look for the Intel Nexus uh, mod available there. It's really easy to download. So only these three you need. And you put this on the mod uh, folder for chat PS4, you're good to go. Now, I'm going to show you right now how to play this with just a regular patch and you're gonna see a lot of consumption on my graphics card uh with the 60 patch without the looseless scaling and then i'm going to play at 30 but i'm going to scale those 30 to 60 with the looseless scaling you will see the difference it's abysmal and it's just really really smooth so i'm um, starting here with the patches cheats and patches um these are the the ones that i use for shot ps4 skip intro disable chromatic aberration disable motion blur Disable HTTP request, and I'm going to use the 60 FPS patch. I'm not going to use the looseless scaling uh, yet, just so you can see the difference. So, uh, right now I'm going to play Bloodborne, and you can see the, stat the statistics on my right side. That that is the Riva Turner. I'm going to load the game. And now you're about to notice what happens when you play with this patch. As you notice, we have 46 FPS right now. And this really happens all the time. 46, 47, 50, 55, 44, uh, 58, you name it. In different areas, um, sometimes those kind of drops. And I was, at the beginning when I started playing this, I was like, nah, this, is, this game is not optimized, whatever, it's not gonna work. This game is crowded with a lot of enemies, and, but it's still, it's just, it's not smooth. And now I'm gonna close this. Um, I have to exit in the normal way, because otherwise it's just going to mess up um, the game. I'm exiting right now. And now I'm going to show you what happens if you use lose the scaling. Now, I'm going to be doing the testing. Um, um, would you? Uh, this is not the the window. Sorry. I'm gonna put Bloodborne here. Hit and patches. I had the 60 FPS. Okay. I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna save it. But now I'm gonna use the. Looseless scaling for 60 FPS, and I put that at 1. 
at two, I'm sorry, because I'm playing at 30 FPS, so I want to double that. The multiplier is two. The rest of this, keep it the same. Don't change a single thing. Off here, allow tearing. Why? I'm about to show you in a bit and ca uh, capture API, this one. The rest, you save it like this. Now, I go here to the NVIDIA control panel settings. Program settings. I add the chat PS4. I have everything here to the max. 16, 8, 8, enhanced application setting, uh, ultra. The low latency mode, you need this ultra and the G-Sync. If your monitor has G-Sync or V-Sync, most of them ha uh, have that. And that's the reason it's just way smoother. Um, what this does is that you don't, you don't have it here on the loosely scaling, but your NVIDIA control panel overrides this and it's just smoother. I, I tried the different tweaks and it, it never worked, but this this work and I have clamp high quality you can change the settings this depending on your graphics card so if you're using a 3060 you may change this to 2 or 4 you may change this to application control um, actually it really doesn't matter if you enhance the application setting or not I, I haven't even seen a difference but um, the anti-aliasing setting you can change this to 2 or 4 uh, the, the, the difference is barely barely noticeable and the only thing that you have to change here is a, a, lot, a clamp to allow and high quality to high performance. That's about it. You apply it and you close. But for me, I'm going to leave it like this um, because I have the hardware to play this game uh, 60 without any issues. Now I'm going to show you um, the difference if I don't activate the patch. And this really doesn't make any sense, but this is the actual, the actual way that it worked for me. It's just way better. Um, this is scaling sort of, um, when it scales the FPS, it just fix it in a way that is smooth and you can feel it when you're playing. So I'm gonna show you the game playing at 30 and then scaling up the game at 60. You will notice the difference. So uh, keep this like this, you save, and then um, go to the game. All right, here we go. load the game right now is playing at 30 fps and now you're gonna notice how it looks at 30 which is how it looks on ps4 like this and now i'm gonna do the scaling and you will clearly see the difference youtube you can see the difference on 60 fps 120 you won't see too much of a difference However, I'm going to show you a difference that is actually noticeable in terms of quality, but barely noticeable. And that's the reason why you can play this at um, 122. So what I do now is that I pop the looseless scaling and I scale it to a multiplier of two. I click here, so it'll do the mul multiplier. Now you're going to notice something. Okay, this is pretty, pretty important. Even though you see 30 FPS on the right, this doesn't matter because that 30 FPS on the right is hooked to the shot PS4. What matters right now is the scaling. That is scaling to 30 to 60 on the top left corner. And you're about to notice that, yeah, now it's 60. It's way better than before. So to avoid any confusion, I'm going to out here and I'm going to turn this off because that doesn't matter anymore you can see now that if I go anywhere not as before 60 all the time smooth and now I'm about to show you what happens see way more stable it's just better better than the patch i just i just feel it's better i don't know it's um it's what I, has been working for me um, 
But anyways, I'm gonna head out of here. And now I'm gonna play at 120. Which is even more stable. That's the craziest part. But for the 120, you have to make some tweaks. Which is, you have to put a 60 FPS patch. If you scale it from 30 to 120, nah, it won't work. The good thing about that is that even if it drops to 100 or 90, and that happens because of my graphics card, you need like a 4000 card, um, 4080 or 4090 above to make that happen consistent. Um, now what you're about to notice is that I run the game. This is pretty important. Uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to avoid confusion to so turn this off, I'm going to use the looseless scaling. And I'm, I'm going to scale, I'm going to use the two, same, the multiplier. So if I have a 60, 120, if I have 30, then it's 60. Now you're going to notice on the top, 60, 120. There you go. And you can see the smoothness is just different. It hits different. These are the best settings that I've found. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to die here, whatever. And now I'm going to show you, oh my god, Maria hit me. <laughs> now I'm going to show you why you don't scale this game above 120. And the difference is really, really noticeable. Really, really noticeable. But I'm going to change the location um, with more light. Alright, so... If you take a look at the character right now, and I go like this, there's nothing noticeable around the character. Like, it's impossible to notice. This won't be noticeable at 60 at all because of the frames. And unless you're really, really obsessive and fixated like I am, you may notice this if you do this 20 times and sort of notice a hint of a blur that maybe it'll be your imagination but if you use looseless scaling and scale this twice the difference is abysmal and this game cannot be played above 120 my monitor by the way is um, I'm gonna scale it even more because I think right now it's doing only 200 scale it My monitor is uh, 1440p, um, 240Hz, which works for 240. Now you can clearly see there's something off with the environment. See, it's a 240. Now I'm going to take a look at the character. It's just horrible. You can see it. You can see it like there's... It's like... It's almost like it's got really distorted around the enemy. And when you play with other enemies, you can clearly see this. It's just... Uh, sort of a distorted um, problem that happens and there's no fix for this. I did a lot of research. If there's a new patch or fix or something, let me know in the comments, but I couldn't find anything for this. And you can clearly see that the environment also looks like, I don't know, like water with oil sometimes when you move it too fast. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the video I wanted to make. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you made it till the end of the video and this video was uh, helpful to you, um, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate your support. And uh, for future videos, um, for those OG subscribers here, Game Bros, I'm going to be doing a lot of Bloodborne videos because this game is fully playable on PC right now. And I've been doing new runs. I'm planning to do uh, another video for 99 uh, strength for skill, uh, quality, strength, or gain uh, versus all, all of the bosses. And perhaps I'll be showing also my Bloodborne collection, um, the gems that I have. But that will be on my PS4. Uh, it's a video that I always wanted to do. And I have a video planned that I've been recording for, which is the review for Bloodborne PC. 
Um, I've been recording that for the past two weeks. And for the future, I have a video that it will be an advanced tips and secrets for Bloodborne. That I haven't seen a video like that on YouTube, honestly, because I've been playing this game for 10 years. Chalice Dungeons, everything. Uh, if you're an OG, you know that farming the Blood Tinge Gems, uh, 31.5 will take you like two weeks farming five hours per day, healing the fatties. If you know what I mean, then you know that I'm an OG. And if you see my channel, I've been doing also Blood Level 4. Uh, by beating all the Chalice Dungeons. So anyways, um, that advanced tips and secrets are gonna be tips that I've seen nothing close to what I'm about to tell you. Uh, glitches and some other things, but are more, it's uh, more about the how to play this game properly and better. And see you in the next one, bye-bye.